punchline. No, can we just quickly finish and then I'll let you respond to the, the jinn side, yeah? Remember this as well. So when you're saying that Jesus as God knows the hour, so you said it does not make sense for something to be all-knowing and not all-knowing at the same time as God. As God. What you're saying is... Yeah. A single entity can't be all-knowing and, and unknowing at the same time. As God, God. Yeah, but I'm saying to you, Jesus Christ is two entities. Okay. This is what you've got to understand. Jesus Christ is two entities. Yes, he is human and divine. Okay. Two entities. Two separate okay. wills. Now let me. Now let me break down. Can I respond now? Th that's right. fine, no, but no, uh, we, 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 right we, right we didn't now. address it. No, we were talking about first of all. Let's go back uh, to the gym, then. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about yeah. the gym. Yeah. We were, I was trying to bring out a parallel. Yep. According to, to Islamic understanding. In order for me to understand, yeah. Where you can have. Yeah. A person, a human being, who's yep. standing there, and unseen to the eye, there yep. can be a spirit dwelling in that person who is influencing this person. Yep. So you see one shell of a human being, yep. and this spirit that influences him may influence him according to its own will to do certain things and say certain things. Are we talking things. about jinns right now, just to clarify? We're talking about jinn. Okay, yeah, so yeah. when they enter so, the human so, creation, yeah. so he can influence him, yeah? yeah? So what I'm saying, okay. say your, what's your name? My name is Osama. Osama, it's yeah. Khalid. Nice to meet you. So let's say Osama is jinn possessed. Okay. Please God, that will never happen. Okay. God forbid, he's, yeah. He's jinn possessed. Now, the jinn is inspiring him to say something to me. Okay, out of my own okay. will, yeah? yeah? Out of my own will. No, no, you don't have a choice. Okay, he's, he's he influenced me. He's influencing your will okay. to make a really blasphemous statement to me. Is the jinn all-powerful? No, no, hang on, we're first of all establishing. No, don't, don't jump, let me speak. Let I, me I'll speak. let you speak, no, but no, we no, have no, to no, establish no, the no, principles. First of all, first of all, Colin, we have to whether establish the, the jinn is all-powerful or not is not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is, is it possible for something that seems to be a singular person to have a hidden spiritual influence that may influence the things he says, but when it doesn't, you're back to being who you normally are and you're talking normally. So that's the question. The gin, yeah. Yeah, hang on, but when that's the, the jinn wants you to speak yep. on its behalf, yep. he can make you do this, okay. and when he doesn't, he won't. Okay. So according to your own understanding of a, of a spirit dwelling in a human body, is exactly my back to you, is how the, uh, the divine and the human nature of Jesus Christ can coexist in exactly that same analogy. Can I respond to that now, yeah? So I'm going to go back to the jinn topic because I believe it's really important yeah. for you to understand that these comparisons cannot be used. Absolutely not. You cannot compare jinn and God. And the reason being is because we can agree that jinn is a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just like humans are so if a jinn possesses a human human individual he can only do so from his limited capability we can also for example doing ruqya we can get rid of that jinn therefore that jinn does not have the same power or influence as you but but when it comes to the attribute of God being into a human baby we have to understand what we're talking about is God when you establish what God is we understand God from his attributes so we know that God is all powerful he's the most and his perfection. So these are the attributes that we affirm with God. When it comes to the human being, we, ought, we also agree that a human being is imperfect. Yeah, he does not have the attributes of being all-powerful. He does not have the attribute of being power, uh, almighty. So these are the principles that we both agree upon. So what I'm trying to do is understand these two natures and see if it actually makes sense, if, it, if it's tangible. So, so wait, just please let me uh, I'll finish here, of course. Now I want you to not use a gin example because it's not a good analogy. What Can we I should do... Say one thing? Yeah. I, would, I find yeah. at my age hard to follow a series yep. of statements that you make coming to a conclusion. Okay. And it would, it would help me if we dealt, we could slice the cake up a bit because okay. otherwise I won't be able to give you so, an answer necessarily so what to I'll do what is, you're asking. So what I'll do is, just so I can mention the point and then let's link it to that point sure only thing, in yeah. order for you to not be... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is that when a human uh, God, the most powerful, the most high, the perfect, we have to agree that God by nature is perfect. When he entered into his creation, either he diminishes attributes and he does not become God or he has, or when he becomes a human, ba human baby, we have to conceive that, that that entity that you're talking about has is perfect, but at the same time is not perfect. So what I'm saying to you is that we agree right now when God has an attribute of perfection and has an attribute of imperfection that is contradictory by nature. Like that goes against God's nature. See if I understand that. You're saying yep. that God can't enter into creation because it limits his perfection. Is that what you said? Absolutely, yeah. Right, so you're saying that God has never entered into creation. God, if God entered, okay, let me give you, let's break this down here. You're saying God, can, do we agree that God is bigger than his creation? When you say bigger than his creation, see, Shamsi would have said the same thing, okay. like God can't get in a small space. I.e. you can shut a door and keep God out of. No, God transcends creation and his power maintains every molecule and atom. And we can't separate his person 
from his presence. Okay. This is what Jews so, and Christians So you would believe. disagree that God is bigger than his creation? When you say bigger, yeah. creation exists in God. Do we agree that God do we saying. agree that God is the most high? First of all, God doesn't have dimensions. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This is wait. what I want to understand. That's you fine. said to me, you well, I don't know. I'm not I'm not talking about dimensions. Look, God bigger than creation. I'm not talking about dimensions. When all I'm right. saying bigger, when I'm saying bigger, I'm not talking about dimensions. What I'm saying to you is that God is most powerful. He's more yes. stronger than his creation and he's most okay. high. So what I'm trying to say to you he's is the Lord of yeah, yeah. So what I'm trying to say to you is how can God enter into his creation when that, that creation yeah, how can God enter his creation when that creation is when the entity of God is bigger than the creation himself? That's contradictory so, as well. So, but what the, the point is, I think we again we're going again we're going to a different topic. No, One, no, 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 no. I hold you on that. I, you I will do. Statement. You no, must allow me. I will to allow you if I just need to go. I will. I will do. I will do. I just need to go back to the topic. I do apologize. Yeah, no, but you just said something about creation. You can address you're that. Using that. You can address as that. As far as how could he be in the body of the man Jesus? Christ? We can address that. We can address that. But that was. And a, I would like to reply to what you. I will said. let you do so, but I, I believe that was a side could point. You, could you let yeah. me reply to a statement you made, and then we'll go back? Uh, after. Because otherwise, you'll okay. have two goes. After I finish, after, no, it's just not about goes. I'm just having a conversation to be I fair. I know, but you made yeah. a statement yeah. that I don't agree with, and I want to prove that you're Okay, I will let you respond to your point. Just give me like at least 20 seconds to finish. Then you'll have asked me two. You can, no, that, okay, I'm not going to ask you a question. I'm just trying to make a statement right now. So my statement, was, statement. my statement was trying to say to you is that when God entered into his creation, therefore he limits himself, therefore his divine attributes get diminished. Once an entity's divine attributes gets diminished, that person is not the same God anymore. Well, just premise, like, just like, okay, now, now just five now seconds, just five it. seconds. Something cannot be perfect and imperfect at the same time. I would like you to address that question. Okay, right. C can I just say this and then Chris, you can. Right. This is a very interesting question that my friend here has raised. Yep. He made the statement that if God, the perfect God, was to enter into creation, it would limit his perfection. Now, according to Judaism, God has entered into creation on numerous times. And if we go to the Torah, right, which is the book accepted uh, by the Jews, we can see the whole history of Judaism interspersed with se series of God entering into creation speak it to me. for a divine purpose. Yeah, yeah. So the simplest one would be, do you know what that object is? So what is that object? Did? That's the holiest object that has ever existed in Judaic, Judaic history. It's called the Ark of the Covenant. Okay. And in it it says, and let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among among you. Right? This is what God has commanded. He also said, I will establish my abode in your midst. I will not spurn you. I'll be ever present in your midst. I will be your God. Okay. So we we come from a foundation that is entirely Jewish. All the apostles were Jews. And they brought to the table a belief in God the Father and in the belief in God the Spirit. And his Spirit did enter into creation. This is why our God has the omni called omnipresence, okay. which I don't think the Islamic God has. Okay, let's, let me just, let's, wait, wait, wait. Do, do you wait. think God is wait, wait, let's, 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 one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Yeah, right sorry, now you're yeah. talking about Judaism, yeah? You're going back to Jews, what they believe in. So you're saying, wait, wait, so you're, wait, 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 one second. So you're saying the Jews, they believe that God entered his creation. Firstly, Jews do not believe that God became a man. Okay, that's, we need to establish that. Wait, 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 wait. Please, no, 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 contradiction by nature we agree that god can do anything that befits his nature that befits his majesty okay who defines the nature? so let's understand that do we do we agree that god cannot be all knowing and not all know, uh, knowing at the same time that would be a contradiction that's, that's a contradiction right absolutely so for, that's the same thing when i'm saying when god becomes a human being that's also a contradiction because what i'm saying to you is i'm trying to address this point to you so you understand I, i'm not sure if you're understanding me or not i'm trying to mention i'm trying to mention by nature if god by nature is perfection so me and you both have a common agreement that God by nature is perfection. How can that same God, how can that same God not know the hour? How can the same God be imperfect? So now, and you also agreed, you also agreed, I'm going to go back to the topic that I addressed earlier. You agreed that Jesus as God, he was all knowing. I'm going to go back to the, the, the topic that I mentioned earlier. because I believe, the I, divinity of Jesus I, Christ I believe it's really important. I believe yeah. it's important. But if I tell you that your Bible does not say exactly what you're saying, what are you going to say to me? Because right. in the Bible, when clearly someone asked, a disciple asked Jesus, when is the hour? He clearly responded no with, one knows but the Father. Not, not just that, he goes, neither the Son. Yeah. And we can see in the Bible, yeah. when the word Son is used, that's used as Jesus and his divine, in his divine nature. When, 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 we're going to have to substantiate Okay, I'll, I'll substantiate that, absolutely, absolutely no problem. In the Bible, so you can clarify for me. Let's see if I'm wrong. Okay, wait, wait, first. that's fine. When Jesus, when the Son is mentioned in the Bible, is that referring to Jesus in his divinity? When he says no one knows not even the Son, that's obviously referring to his humanity. That, okay, where's the proof for that? 
that because the proof that's that? the reason he doesn't know. No, that's if not, he said that's it not in the civility, he would know. That's not the proof. No, that is the proof. That's not the proof. Okay, you, you made a statement that Jesus Christ, when he said no one knows but the hour, not even the sun, and you asked me, is this in his human nature, his divine nature? Obviously it's in his human nature, because if it was a divine nature, he would know. No, it's obvious. Let me tell you why. Can you in, give me the let me tell you why. You, you, can, you the, said the, it means something different. Wait, wait, let me respond to that first, yeah? And in the meantime, in the meantime, I would like you to get the, the verse of uh, the all knowing. Jesus not knowing the hour in the meantime. If you could pull the verse out, that would be greatly appreciated. No, tell me the verse yes. where Jesus does not know the hour. Yeah. Is it in Matthew or is it in Mark? I'm not too sure. Anyways, okay, the point, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the point I'm trying to make to you is, yeah, yeah Matthew, yeah? So the yeah. point I'm trying to make to you yeah, is... Tell me what your point okay, is. Okay, that's fine. The point I'm trying to... No problem. Yeah, yeah. Let, me go, let me go to it. The point I'm trying to make to you is that when Jesus in the Bible clearly stated that when someone asked him about the hour and when he clearly stated that no one in the heavens or earth, neither the sun knows the hour, that's referring to even in his divine nature and the reason being is because he did not say that oh no one knows the hour except the father and Jesus as God he did not say that if he literally excludes himself and said that only Jesus only the father knows the hour that means only the father knows the hour let me give you a quick example let's say I know every single person's name here right now yeah I know your name I know your name I know this individual's name but I don't know this person's name does that mean I'm still the same person that's all knowing? Okay, it does I not mean answer? that. Can I that's answer? fine. Yeah. Right. We're going back to the parallel with jinn, and I'll, I'll back up in a jinn. You're going to go I, back I to was, the jinn? Yeah, yeah, no, I was using the parallel that in Islam, they accept that a human being can be uh, can be jinn possessed. And that that spirit, and the jinn is a spirit. But I refute that, that jinn, to be fair. Yeah, that jinn is able to influence that human being to speak and to do... Colin, sorry, that's a really bad example. No, that's I, a really, really bad example. Is, could you let me finish? I will let you I finish, but that's a really bad example. I'll, I'll and to, I addressed you already, no, but we're repeating, we're repeating. The reason repeating. Here said that we're it was a bad example was, was, was how can you compare a limited jinn to the all-powerful God? Absolutely. I wasn't trying to compare the two, I was trying to show and reveal a very clear parallel how you can have two things coexisting in the same person where one doesn't know what the other one is saying. One is a paradox, yep. one is a creation entering another creation. Okay, let's say, let's say, right, you're now, and I said, you're now jinn-possessed, and I've asked you, right, the spirit of the jinn is living in you, and the spirit knows the answer to this question I'm going to ask. And you don't know the answer. Well, then, Only the jinn does. I'm so the surprised. I'm so, so clear, surprised. I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised. Colin, with all due respect, you're, you're, I'm so surprised you're yeah, using the jinn example. Jinn. That's, that's, I'm so surprised. Wait, 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 firstly, wait, 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 he cannot remove God from his human body. Jesus and his human form cannot remove God from his human body. He has, wait, 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 wait. He has no control. When I'm saying when a jinn enters his creation, that individual could do ruqya and he can cure himself and that jinn will be removed. So your example, look, the reason why I'm being persistent, Colin, I'm being persistent. The reason why I'm being persistent, yeah, the reason why, the reason why I'm being persistent with the example of a human being becoming God is because they're both contradictory by nature. You're not understanding the point when something becomes 100% human or 100% God, yeah. that's a contradiction. When I'm saying something is not perfect, something is perfect and imperfect at the same time. That's a, that's a, a logical fallacy. I will challenge the assumption. I'm, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. No, I'm speaking to you. I don't want to speak to him. I'm speaking to you. No, because you're a rude person, he's disrespectful, and I do not want to speak to him. This individual, he's clearly said he has problems. If you want a respectful conversation, no, I, I, I'll speak with you. If not, with him on, on that I'm not going to speak to him. No, no, he's a proven liar. Bible, no. And I'll be, no, who wants to Please go away. Okay, can I just say You're an attention seeker. You're an attention seeker. Corner, you're, you're talking, didn't you say, Chris, be respectful? Remember last you're, time? You're not being no, because you're not respectful. You, you, you're not respectful. I was never respectful conversation. You'll never have a respectful conversation. You, you no, Off, on private, you're a really nice person. When it comes to the camera, you're a total different person. You understand this. On private, you're so nice. He's so polite. On camera, wait, wait, wait. What happened last time? Then what happened last time? You change. Just when the camera come on, you change. You change. No, 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 no. No, I don't. You're a liar. You said you have problems accepting Bible verses. But anyways, let's have a come. 
problems accepting Bible verses. Okay, Colin, let's not let's not change the topic just because he's right, here. Let's continue, no, 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 let's continue no, no, the conversation. No, 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 let's continue the conversation. No, 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 let's continue the conversation. Right, I'm going to say one right. thing now, and we'll see okay. if we're going to continue the let's, conversation. Let's conclude. You've had a, you've had a good innings, John. Now this is cricket. You've been. I'm not trying to do that. To be fair, I'm not trying to do that. You entered the conversation, Colin. You entered the conversation, not me. I did not speak to you. You came to me, Colin. You came to me with the topic. I was speaking to another individual. You came and you inter. No, I wouldn't say interrupted, but you interjected the conversation. Joined in. Interjected, interjected. In. That's fine, Colin. Yeah, but I'm saying to you is that you can't just say to me, I want to speak to him. So it's up to you. Look, let's don't make it sound like I Colin, yeah. let's conclude. Yeah. You're getting this individual in. He's a rude person. I don't want to speak to him. Respect my opinion. Respect my opinion. If I don't want to speak to someone, respect my opinion. If I want to conversate with you, that's fine. Anyways, let's conclude. Let's conclude. Let's conclude. Let's conclude. Let's conclude. No, no, no. We'll leave it. Yeah. Let's conclude, Colin. Yeah. Let's just conclude. I'm gonna just finish off. Not gonna conclude. That's fine then. You can you can go then. Goodbye then. Goodbye then. I thought you was a nice person, but if you just just because this individual well, no, interrupting, no, no, well, that's fine. You're, you're no problem. You can go. You can go. You're telling me. You can go. That he's got to go, but I want to finish the conversation with you after already telling me that I interrupted your conversation. Interjected. Is, I said interjected. I didn't say interrupted. I used my terminology you very I wisely. You, you, you interjected. You, you, you did. You see did. You, you came to me. To you came. You interjected the conversation. I had no problem with it. I had no problem with it. But that's fine. I don't. To be fair. To be fair, you're not able to answer the question. To be fair, I've never been rude to you. I've been really nice and I've been. Having a nice conversation with you, you, yeah. But when you're getting you're this individual you. and you're not respecting my opinion, you? you, if you're getting this individual you into the, the conversation, you're not you being respectful. Anyways, Colin, that's fine. You, to be fair, you're you not able to answer the question. Oh, yeah. You're not able to I've answer how can something be perfect and imperfect at the same time. You never answered that once. You haven't even answered that once. That's fine. I'm not going to speak to you. You're not fair. You're not fair. You're not fair. Again, you mentioned gin again. You're really persistent with the gin example. How can God, the Almighty, powerful, become more than a gin? So God can eat food. God can eat food. If you're going God to was a baby. God to something that gin can do, then we better leave. So God was a baby. So God was a baby. Absolutely ridiculous. You don't want to have a God is not a baby. You don't want to have God a dwelt with in a baby. So God became a baby then. God dwelt Did God became a baby or was he a baby? Did he enter this creation? No, you have to answer the question really carefully. The flesh of Jesus Christ came from Mary. The spirit of Jesus Christ came from God. And that's according to your own beliefs. Okay, with my beliefs. That God became a baby. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. Hit something of his spirit into Mary and said, Now that's a lie. Be. Now you're lying. Now you're lying. Wait, right. when when right. when the ancient Jibreel breathed to the spirit of Mary, no, that's no. not wait, God. Wait, 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 wait. That is not God entering his creation. Colin, you've been a proven no. liar. I'm not going to continue this conversation. You're a proven liar. No. I'm not going to come and say with you. That. You're an individual in disguise. Goodbye. No, no, no. I'm not going to speak with this individual. You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm not going to speak with individuals like this. With these type of people, I'm going to walk away. Okay, what's okay, okay, that's fine. What's the spirit? Referring to. Here we go. Here we go. What's the spirit? Wait, wait, wait. What's the spirit, What's the spirit referring to? What's the spirit referring to? What's the Arabic word for it? What's the Arabic word for it? Yeah. So, so, wait, 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 wait. wait. That's, what's the exact word for it? It's not just roof. What's the full word? What's the full word for it? What's the full word there? Ru'a? Ru'a? There we go. Mary, daughter of Imran, whose body was chased, therefore we breathe therein something of our spirit yep. into her. Do you Absolutely. Agree with that? Okay, wait, wait, wait. You said I was a liar. No, 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 no. no. You, said no, no you, you are a liar. You said I was a liar. Are you going to let me speak? 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 But not if you call me a liar. No, over no, something. no, because, no, to be fair, you're not a sincere person. You're not a sincere person. I'm not going to conversate the I'm not going to confess. I'm not going to continue the conversation. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to conversate. I'm not going to continue the conversation. No, no, I'm good. You said no, that's a lie. That's a lie. lie. You okay, if you're, you're a liar, you're a liar. Yes, yes, yes. And Jibril is wait, wait, wait. One text. second, one second. When I'm talking about angel Jibreel breathe to the spirit of Mary, I'm gonna prove the verse. Mary okay, that's fine. Wait, wait. I made the claim. Let me provide the evidence for it. Wait, wait. No, I'm not gonna go to translation. Let me go to it. Let me go through it. Let me go to it. Let me go to it. Let me go to it. If I show you the verse, then you have to you have to retract the statement. One second. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. That's fine. Mary. On. Wait, wait. Are you gonna let me exactly? Why are you walking no, away now? No, no, no. I'm getting the Quran. I'm gonna get the Quran, and I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna give you the Quran. I'm gonna give you the Quran. Word liar. I don't care. One of the most serious things. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Your oh, person. No, what no, is no, more no, worse no, is you no, saying no, that God is a baby. That's more worse. No, no, That's more worse than you're a liar. Anyways, let me go back to it. God is a baby. No. Yes. You are. God. I three times said God dwelt in a baby. Exactly. That's just as bad. That's just as bad. That's just as bad. To be fair, God, the most powerful, the all high, the most high, the most powerful. He dwelled into your, a baby. Go, go the nature of the baby is weak. The baby of the nature is anyway, cry. The baby else. defecates. Jesus yeah, may Allah guide you, man. May Allah. He was the name of us. Goodbye. Okay, that's right. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, you lie. Goodbye. You interjected. Goodbye.
Astaghfirullah al Azim. Where's the cameras? I'm just going to get the verse out. Yeah, yeah. So look, in the verse in the Quran, in Surah, Surah Tahrim, it clearly states, and Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, so we blew into her garment through our angel, through our angel, Gibrail. this is the translation, yeah, Sahih International. And she believed in the words of her Lord and his scriptures and was of the devoutly obedient. The, the, the scholars have understood the Ruh to be ancient Jibreel. So clearly this individual was a liar. This person has lied. This person said that Allah has blew the spirit to, uh, to Mary. When clearly it said it's done through with the angel Jibreel. So this individual was lying. And this individual was not able to answer the question. Something cannot be perfect and imperfect at the same time. This is a lie. Allah by nature is perfection. Human by nature is imperfect. How can you say God the Almighty, the Powerful, He became a human baby, He ate food. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says that Jesus and Mary used to eat food. The nature of the Almighty is so sufficient. How can God be so sufficient but need food? The Salaf al Salihin, they used to reply and said that when an individual eats food, that means he defecates. Astaghfirullah al -Azim. you're telling me God used to eat food and he defecated, he went to the toilet, he changed his nappy. La hawla wa la illa billah. We do not believe this. Us Muslims, we have the most logical understanding of God. He's the one Almighty, Ahad. He has a mo he, his attributes makes the logical sense. So, Akhi, I'm going to leave you with this. This individual is a liar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.